Fallout is a franchise that's been loved by fans for many years. From Fallout 1 to the brilliant New Vegas and even the most recent Fallout 4, the franchise is filled with tons of awesome things. So to honor the end of Fallout 4 and the awesomeness of Fallout in general, today I'm here to tell you 5 facts about the franchise that you may not have known. Number 1. Ghosts and Psychic Powers Surprisingly, there are many instances of psychic power, ghosts, and the supernatural in Fallout. The most well-known example of this is Mama Murphy in Fallout 4, who can predict the player's future using the sight. Mama Murphy is most likely a psyker, an individual who has psychic powers by virtue of FEV, radiation exposure, or other causes. In Fallout 1, there were four human psychers that you could interact with in the game. In Fallout 2, there were three psychers that included a village shaman, a super mutant, and a red-eyed albino mole rat. In Fallout 3, Professor Calvert, Bloomster Poplar, the Antagonizer, and arguably Herald are all psychers. In Fallout New Vegas, the Forecaster is a child who can see into the future, and the Nightkin are a super mutant faction that seems to have some amount of paranormal knowledge. Finally, outside of Mama Murphy, Lorenzo Cabot of Fallout 4 has telekinetic powers and may be a psyker. This means that multiple people with psychic powers appear in every Fallout game. In Fallout 2, there's an actual ghost named Anna Winslow in a mission that involves putting her spirit to rest by returning her locket. Finally, in some graveyards and cemeteries in New Vegas, such as for example Good Springs Graveyard, you can hear creepy whispering in the background. Clearly, ghosts and supernatural phenomena have a minor part in the Fallout franchise, which is surprising considering it takes place in a science fiction universe. Number 2. References to other media In Fallout 3, there's a character named Mel who attempts to rob you of your belongings, but is probably the most pathetic thief ever. He asks for all of the player's money, but does so in a very unassertive voice, using an unloaded weapon, and even appears as friendly on the radar. It turns out that Mel is actually a reference to Mel Gibson, who's the actor that played Mad Max, and in Mad Max 2 he threatened the gyro captain with an unloaded weapon. Another reference to Mad Max is the mysterious stranger who in Fallout 1 and 2 had a leather jacket, which is the signature article of clothing for Mad Max. The mysterious stranger carries a 44 Magnum, which might be a reference to the main character of a book called Mysterious Stranger, written by Mark Twain, who also happens to carry a 44 Magnum. Finally, in Fallout 4, there's a rare item called Experimental Plant that is strikingly similar to Nernroot from The Elder Scrolls. Much like Nernroot, it grows near the water and survived an apocalyptic event, that event being the sun's death in The Elder Scrolls and the Great War in Fallout. There are countless references to other media in the Fallout franchise, but these are only a few. Number 3. Cut Features The Pip-Boy 2000 of the original Fallout has a broken button on it, and if you look closely next to the button, you can see the word Clue. This is because there was originally supposed to be a Clue function for the Pip-Boy that was intended to keep track of various hints the player received in a manner similar to a journal. The first Fallout also had a playable redhead female and a black-haired male character that were cut from the final game. However, you can actually meet both of these characters in a special encounter during Fallout 2. Number 4. Timeline Divergence It's generally well known that the Fallout franchise has an alternate timeline that diverges from our own timeline. One of the first major divergences is instead of the transistor being invented in 1947, as was the case in our world, it was invented in 2067, which significantly impacted the electronics industry. However, smaller divergences exist as far back as the 1600s, when Toshiro Kago of feudal Japan was kidnapped by aliens. He later makes an appearance in the Mothership Zeta DLC for Fallout 3. Another early event that diverges from our own timeline is the manufacture of Sunset Sarsaparilla, which happened in 1918, and the crime spree of fictional criminals Vicky and Vance. Number 5. Historical References Many of you are probably familiar with Lincoln's Repeater from Fallout 3, a weapon that allegedly belonged to Lincoln himself. It turns out that this weapon is actually based on a real weapon given to Abraham Lincoln. The weapon given to him was a Henry rifle, and was given by the New Haven's Arms Company in hopes of increasing sales for use in the Civil War. Also, modern working replicas of the rifle were sold by the company around the release of Fallout 3. 
The Ranger Sequoia from New Vegas has the phrase Against All Tyrants engraved on it, which is the same name as a challenge in Fallout New Vegas that involves killing Legion members with the Ranger Sequoia. This phrase is taken from the pamphlet An Arrow Against All Tyrants written by Richard Overton in the 1600s. Also, the Ranger Sequoia is based on the Magnum Research BFR, which is an acronym for Big Frame Revolver, or as others like to say, Big Fucking Revolver. Alright everyone, that's pretty much going to do it for this video. I hope at least some of you out there enjoyed this video and learned a few tidbits about the Fallout franchise. Thanks as always for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.